Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft 2. I am your host, Renovate, and we are playing on the Voxel Squad server, hosted by Sticky Pistons. Yeah! I'm going to talk not too loud in this episode, guys, because I have family that are sleeping quietly in their beds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, so we are going to have a little bit of fun today. Uh, let's get our camera rearranged. Boop, boop. There we go. Uh, last episode, guys, we made a bunch of cool weapons, some infinity weapons, actually. And I went ahead and made a couple more um, tools here. I made an infinity lumber axe and an infinity hammer and an infinity pickaxe. Uh, the only thing I'm missing right now is the infinity shovel. And um, I don't necessarily need that because I can just vein mine dirt. Actually, I can vein mine anything, but uh, uh, I'll show you why I needed to make those tools here in a little bit. So yeah, we made the Infinity Stuff Labs last episode, and then uh, for the past couple days, I've actually been moving stuff around in our base because we've been, uh, ever since I set up the ME system, um, uh, yeah, we did have the ME system. So yeah, uh, guys, um, we moved some stuff because uh, even though this is Applied Energistics 2, we don't have the dense cables, and uh, I'm not sure, these are called covered cables, and they look like smart cables. So I'm guessing that they might actually just travel eight channels instead of the 32. I'm not sure. So I didn't want to make stuff too far away and have a bunch of channels and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to keep everything here pretty compact. So I moved all our chickens down here. So all the chickens are down here in a nice little orderly fashion. Um, everything is getting pulled out and everything is getting funneled over here to this diamond chest in that diamond chest if you look underneath there is a cable with an import bus and it is importing everything <laughs> cool door oh what <laughs> that was cool. Uh, is importing everything into our ME system. So everything is in here. And I thought that since I made these two drives right here, I got this one and this one, it started putting stuff in here and then it stopped. And then it started putting stuff back over here. So I don't know if I need to make this storage bus. I don't know if I can click it through here. I don't think I can. Um, have a priority. I don't even know if I can do that or not. Uh, but it's been sticking everything in here, and if I scroll down, you'll see all the junk is at the end. Yeah, see, everything's in here, which is kind of weird. So that's all the stuff I've been putting in. Uh, over here, I moved all our farming stuff down to here. So we are going to have this as our farm. And then close our, close our door. And then uh, if we go upstairs, uh, actually, uh, oh yeah, let me show you something real quick. Check this out. Look at this cow right here. Uh, oh, 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 here's something that changed. If you're noticing all the cows are little baby cows, uh, there was an update to the pack, and they took out fluid cows and changed it to mini moos. And these things are kind of cool. They're really fast. They're really easy to see now. And you can, you can also tell what they are by just looking at them, which is great. Because before we had to carry around a bucket and, and milk them and then destroy the bucket. And that was a pain. So let me show you what I've been doing back here. So I was thinking uh, I want to do a whoop farm, and I didn't really have any location to put it that's big enough. And I think we actually need a pretty large room. And this is this is a nice size room right here, but I don't want it sitting in here. So I was thinking that if I have that much room on that side, I should have that much room on this side. And so I went back behind here and started digging all this out. And I've been putting everything. I made a, a an ender chest that's linked just to me. And then uh, as I get these blocks and my inventory gets, since I don't have a nullifier or anything, I just throw it back into our system. So that's where I'm getting all my stone bricks. This is the extent to which we can go. We can actually go further than that because if you remember, um, the way that we are finishing the temple, it follows the stairs. So I can actually go out pretty far and pretty tall if I need to. 
I just don't know if I need to or not. Um, so we are going to make uh, at least a tier one Woot farm today just to, to get it started, at least get all the stuff started. And because uh, I eventually want to be able to have a, a root farm that we can harvest like withers and uh, ender dragons and uh, have a bunch of stuff. Now we don't have draconic evolution, so it's not really that important to have the ender dragon, but at least uh, the wither would be good so we can have nether stars. And I've actually never made a nether generator. And I don't even know if we have those in this pack. Let's look at generator. Do we have an ender generator? It looks like we might. Holistic Nether Star. We do have another star generator, so that might be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to. I just want to make it. So let me get a couple things real quick, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, change of plans. Okay, so uh, Link doesn't have any bones, and he doesn't have any zombie flesh, and I don't have any bones, and I don't have any zombie flesh, and I'm not about to um, make a, uh, a, a try to find a skeleton spawner or anything like that for right now. So what I was thinking is, we'll go ahead and make a mob uh, grinding utilities mob farm and the way we're going to make it work is with cursed earth i do have a drop of evil that i was going to give to link but uh, I, I don't think he took it out of the chest yet so we're going to use it and we're going to make some of these so i'm just going to make a five by five room and i think these uh, only grind one block in front of you, if I remember correctly. Um, but we need to make a bunch of these. So we need to make um, a bunch of swords. And I don't have any wood, so that's why I'm out here in the woods. So we are going to try out our new axe. Oh, that's excellent. Suck it all up. And it really doesn't matter what tree we have. I just need a bunch of wood so I can make a bunch. Uh-oh. Is it going to come down? No. Try again. What, what's changed? <laughs> it works on one tree but not the other. Maybe I didn't hit the base. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Let's try here. There we go. Look at that bad boy. Look at all that stuff. I don't want any of that stuff. I just want the wood. That should be enough wood for us, though. So let me see. What, what was that I got? Oh, pine cones. I don't need that or that. Okay, let's head back to the base. Uh, or I could, you know what, I could probably just go out and, and um, just go out at night time and find a bunch of skeletons, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go back to our place. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm running so fast, I found a, or I didn't find it. I got one of the um, um, the things that, uh, I forget what they're called, but it's a thing that gives you a random loot. And I got this one, which is speed two, and we already had haste, so I'm... I can uh, walk a little bit faster, which is great. I don't have to hold the... This is like speed running. This is normal running, so it's kind of nice. I don't like being slow. <laughs> Alright, so let's take this back here and make some sticks. Let's throw all this in here. We actually just wanted to make a crap ton of sticks. Okay, so let's make like... Um, that's probably going to be enough sticks for right now. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to make these. <coughs> Excuse me. So we need, we know we need to make uh, five of these. So we know we need to make 10 iron swords. So let's go ahead and make 10 iron swords. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So I'm going to throw all those back in the system. And so in order to make uh, these, these require three. So for each one of these it requires two. So we need to make two of these. So we need to make six, six for each one. So that's six, six times five, right? Um, each one requires three. So it's 15, 30? Yeah, yeah, 30. We need to make 30 more. Oh, geez. Okay, so let's do that. Um, okay, we're back. Uh, so I got all those made, so now I just need to make a bunch of iron blocks. I don't know how many, so we're just going to make uh, a crap ton. So let's do that. It's a good thing we have a lot of iron. We have like 17,000, so I'm not going to miss this. I should have probably just went like this. And this is a little bit delayed. For some reason, I'm not getting... Like if I... Sh there you went. I shift clicks, and it doesn't respond right away. I don't know why. Um, and then we're going to need a bunch of redstone blocks, which I already know we have. And so let's go ahead and make 
uh, 30 of these. Um, did I not make enough swords? Really? Man, how did I miscount that? Okay, so I got 13. Um, we just need... <laughs> we only needed 10. <laughs> Uh, oh well um okay let me make some more swords all right so we got that made and let's see we should have enough to make five uh, good okay so we got five of those that's all we needed okay so the next thing we're gonna need is uh, let's see how we want to do this we want to do uh, we already have the absorption hopper which is good and we need a singularity tank for the xp so we can make that actually um yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Okay. And then we need some fans. So let's get these mob fans. Now, these mob fans have upgrades. So one of the upgrades is a width modifier, and then a height modifier, and then a depth modifier. So we only need to make one fan. We just need to modify it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have one fan. And now the width modifier is plus one from the center. So we need... Uh, we need two of these, so we just need to make two of these, one, two, and then height-wise, I'm just going to make the room probably three height tall, so we probably need to make it, um, so we only need two of those two, because I'll probably just sit it in the center, and then the fan depth, it's one from the fan, so we're going to need each one is, yeah, so we need to make a uh, Let's go ahead and make five of these, I'm thinking. Probably only four. And then on the grinders, uh, they have grinding upgrades. So the absorption radius. Uh, this absorption op already does it seven by seven, so I don't need it any bigger. So we have a sharpness, which I'm not worried about. A mob masher, the looting. Uh, fire, smite, bane of arthropods, and beheading. I wonder if we need heads. I'm not thinking we need heads. Let's do the uh, looting one. Let's see. What does it require? For, oh, we got tons of that. So let's do uh, let's do ten of those. Uh, you know what? It needs it on, needs to be on each one, right? So let's just ten times five is fifty. So we're gonna do. Oh, I, I made too many. Crap. And then let's go ahead and do the sharpness. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, let me make some more swords. So I think I have everything that we need to get this thing started. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, but uh, I've got all the pieces made here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start setting it up. I went in and put the room right here because this is going to be like a temporary room. And let's see how we want to do this. So I'll go ahead and put a block back here, like right there. We'll tear that one back out. We are going, this is going to be the dirt level right here. So we need to put the fan here, like so. And that's going to blow all the mobs this way, okay? And then inside the fan, we're going to put uh, the width modifier, right? And that's going to modify it up one and down one. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the width. So we need to go. That gives it one, two. So that's all we really need for that one. And then the height modifier, we actually only needed one because we're only going up one. Why did I make so many? Maybe I thought I was doing a five by five by five room. I'm only doing a five by three room. And then that's all we need there. I don't know why we would need another uh, thing there. So if I break this block here, okay, let's try this out real quick. Uh, let's do this and this. Okay, let's go get a lever. Boop. Okay. I shouldn't be able to walk into this room. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. And I shouldn't be able to walk here. I shouldn't be able to get into here like that. And then I shouldn't be able to get up here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that works. That's exactly how we wanted it to work. Okay, cool. We are going to set them like this. Now, they do hurt if you get up close to them like this when they're on, <laughs> I should say. Um, so they're going to be like right there. And I am going to do this, okay? 
And then I am actually going to put um, the absorption hopper. Um, let's see, what does it do? It does a seven by seven by seven area. Seven by seven, so it does it three down. So this is going to be, uh, can I do, okay. Uh, this is, we're facing east. Okay, so the east side is going to be a fluid. Um, that's fine. And then uh, we will just do this. Oh, crap. We'll just do it like that because the, the pipes are going to come back and they meet. So let's just do this again. So on this, the east side will be uh, fluid, and then the uh, north side will be the items, okay? So we will put um, our item conduit right here, and then we'll set this to, um, let's see, can I click on, I can't. <sighs> All right. Click on that, extract always active, and then we are going to uh, hook up our uh, fluid conduits to this as well, like that, and we are going to set that to extract always, and then we're going to go like this, and then we are going to try in, now you can see that some of our stuff already got picked up by the absorption hopper. It's already in there. And that's why I was having problems with them when I was doing the, the chickens. So will these connect? Yes, they will. Cool. All right. So we need to do that, that, that. Actually, they're not connecting. They just put it beside it. Huh. Okay. And then we are going to have both of these things come up like that, and then like that, and then we'll have the fluid and item come up like that, and then we will have the, um, let's just have the items go this way, and we'll have the fluid go this way, and it's going to go into the singularity tank that's going to sit right here. We're going to put insert, so all the um, XP is going to go into this tank, and then we are going to set up our ender chest, but I don't know what mobs are going to spawn in here because I only have it set to three high. It's going to be interesting to see what spawns, but the only thing that I really want right now is bones and zombie flesh, okay? And we need to go over here, and we are going to whitelist only bones and only zombie flesh for right now. Um, and then we could probably set this to insert. And we could probably just blacklist just in case. We'll blacklist. We don't want bones and we don't want zombie flesh. Okay. So that's good. All right. That's all set up. That's all going to get sucked out of here. This is going to turn this on. And then I made or was getting ready to make some, um, that's why I had the nether. I couldn't remember why I had that stuff in, in my inventory. All right, let's put that in there, that, and that, and then that, uh, and that. Um, I had a bunch of nether quartz on me, and I had these, and that's because I believe that if I was correct, if I put, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Never active. <laughs> if I put this in there and this in there, and I set this to always active, uh, fuse course blast resistant. We should get one that's painted black. There we go. Blocks light. There we go. So this is what I was looking for. All right. So that's blast glass glows uh, or goes like this. I'm gonna be. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Blast resistant, not painted. Why am I still seeing light in there, though? Let's F7. 
Um, it's not letting any light in there, is it? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, and then the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a, a lamp in the top uh, so we can turn that lamp off. So I think we have a glowstone lamp. Uh, glowstone. And then if we hook this up and we set this to like a different channel, like green, uh, we can bring this over and down. Okay. And then we can, let's see, set, th hmm. I don't know if that's going to work if they're too close. Let's do a lever. We'll try it and see if I put this block here like this and set this one to green like this, set that to green and then put a lever on it. It should only turn the light on. Yep. Cool. All right. All right, and then if we click this, holy crap, okay. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. All right. <coughs> Are you guys ready? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this real quick, hold on. Uh, let's turn my F7 off, That's a pretty annoying. Yeah. Screenshot, awesome, okay. Let's turn that on and turn the lights off. Let's see if anything works. Okay, so after a few modifications, I think this is going to work. I hope that it does. I, the problem that I was having is they were getting pushed up against this glass, and those blades are almost flush with the glass, so they weren't really getting pushed into the blades. So I moved the glass back one block. So let's disable this. I set this up just so I don't lose. When I was breaking this glass and the hopper got it, I didn't want to lose all my glass. Um, so let's get this set back up click on that and click that and then this one should be insert and it still has the white list good and then insert this one and it still has the blacklist okay here we go take five <laughs> all right so let's uh flip this on boop and flip this off all right it takes a couple minutes there we go that's what we were wanting cool so that gave us some bones and that gave us some bones. So if we look in here, we should be getting some bones. Yep. There we go. Bones. Awesome. 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 Um, I guess, um, let's see, let's go in and look real quick at the woot farm real quick. So the gray blocks require bones. The red blocks is zombie flesh. We need that. I have a crap ton of that stuff. I have a crap ton of those. And then this is just going to require nether shards. Ugh. White blocks require nether shards. So by that time, we're going to need to kill the wither. <laughs> um, so I don't... You must have to be within a certain distance of this or they despawn. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I might need, like string or anything, but I don't think I do. I don't think there's anything else that I need. Um, but I'll think about it. Whoop, there we go. So, yeah, guys, this has been uh, today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it wasn't really the wood farm, but we did create a farm. <laughs> it's just not the one I wanted. Uh, so we'll get the things that we need, and instead of doing a tier one, we might shoot for the stars and do a tier five, um, or at least a tier four, but we'll try for a tier five. Um, so hopefully if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Always hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Also guys, check out my VidMe channel. It's going to be uh, just random videos, stuff that I don't want to post on YouTube. Uh, so go follow me on VidMe and uh, also follow me on Twitter and make sure you check out everybody else's recording on the Voxel Squad server. So I uh, hope you guys had a fun time. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.